Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah, cutting guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the Earthly Mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledge Yahweh Shai. Pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. Devastating news. Showing how the Most High has taken away the uh, covering of the Gentiles. Taken away the blessing that the, that the Gentiles have been experiencing for these last 500 years. As we come out of our, you know, holy season here, our atonement season, our time for going to the Most High and asking for forgiveness, asking for his protection as we head into perilous times. As we go in, you know, we had our harvest, was it a harvest moon, full moon, and then all of a sudden, as those events have passed, this comes out. President Trump tweets he tested positive for coronavirus. The Gentiles, see, they've been able to live their lives. And, you know, when bad things are happen happening, they just ignore it because they knew that, you know, hey, they would always joke. Nothing ever happens to us. Nothing ever happens to, you know, a so-called white people. You know, it's always... The black people, the brown people are the ones that have to worry about, you know, these types of diseases. Why was that? Because we were under the curses. Just like when the Spanish got here and, they, and, they, and these diseases hit our people and they were not subjected, you know, to the diseases like we were. Why was that? Because we were under the curses. Even, and even now as they try to... Uh, paint a picture that CV is attacking minorities, black and brown people, the most. Now we're starting to see how, uh, you know, a president, you know, who walks around, who's been walking around as if he's bulletproof, as if, you know, nothing can ever harm him, as if it's impossible for him to catch this plague. This is going to throw everything, the government, the higher echelon and the government structure in a tailspin. Because, I mean, they're all working side by side with each other. It's a presidential race. So now, you know, how many other people will now fall to the plague? How many will become sick? When you understand it, that there's no such thing as a coincidence full moon that it was today said after our um, you know holy season after we were you know going through atonement now it seems as if the Mosai is ratcheting up the plagues on the other nations plagues on the leaders We'll see how this goes going forward. But what did the Most High say? As you know, he said that as we grow, as we continue to grow in this knowledge and understanding, as we begin to grow, you know, in this truth, that as we grow in number, he will diminish the other nations. He will diminish the ones who have not been called to this truth. And that's what's happening. And that's what's going to continue to happen. And that's what's going to be ramping up here in the future. We are going to grow. That's been already already prophesied by the Most High. And the other side is going to be diminished. That's been prophesied. And that's going to happen as well. Which is crazy because I just came in and it was talking about the aid who was positive 
and it, uh, they were uh, Trump and his wife were getting tested, and then it's been taking a long time to confirm things, which doesn't see, you know really sound too good. But see, a lot of people have been living their lives because they were so used to, you know, being blessed and not having to deal with many of these things. It was always hitting our people. And as long as it was hitting our people, the vast majority of the world didn't care. But we knew this day was going to come when the Most High was going to begin to pour out the um, curses on the other nations. And like I've been saying for the last couple of videos, we're in for a very eventful time. We are in for a very eventful uh, fall and winter. And, you know, I'm still thinking that it's important for us to think about pooling, you know, some resources together in order to get some land for ourselves. So that as we get blessed and be brought through these perilous times that we will have a place to come together as a nation in order to praise the most high in order to give him thanks for sustaining us through a very difficult time. Just absolutely amazing. And um, there's going to be a lot more information coming out to, exp- uh, to show you and to prove how important it was and how it's been to get more knowledge and understanding from these other books. The Most High has been restoring, you know, the information that was hidden. The, he's been restoring the information that was taken out by the priests of Mahan. And now you're seeing how the Most High is getting ready to deal with these wicked nations that have trampled on the Most High's people, trampled on the Holy Spirit, and trampled on our books and knowledge and understanding. This is just the beginning. And what a huge beginning we're seeing right now. The other nations had a time to acknowledge the Most High's chosen people, acknowledge the 400 years of... uh, death and destruction they've been going through. A time to bless the Most High's chosen people. And as they have the uh, the rug pulled out from under them, the ones that the Most High um, is going to be is going to allow to see the truth, is going to allow them to be able to uh, now bless the Most High's chosen people. I think you're going to start to see a lot more people opening their eyes to that. Because the things that they put their faith in are quickly being shown to have no foundation. And the Most High will lead them to the light. It will lead them to the truth. And they'll realize that their churches have had no truth. Their government has had no truth. Their political affiliation has had no truth. The only truth is with our Father. And he sends the Mother to, uh, to teach us that truth once again. Absolutely amazing what we're seeing right now. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the Earthly Mother, who was wisdom, who was Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.